family wakes up to find their holiday decorations hit by a Grinch, and they weren't the only ones. Too many times we've been reporting on this. Our Amy Frazier is live at the Hayden Island Manufactured Home Community with more on this crime alert. Amy? Well, Jennifer, the family here says they don't have a lot, but they do love decorating for Christmas. Take a look behind me here. You know, this year they saved up for a special projector, but someone stole it overnight. I was like, really? Who does that? Alicia Wooten has decked out her front yard for the holidays. And my three-year-old absolutely adored it. Um, he'd be like, oh, Santa's moving. Look at the snow. There's snow. When are we getting real snow? But this morning, something was missing. It goes in a circle and it projects right there. Sometime overnight. It was right down there where that hole is. <laughs> Someone stole her new holiday projector. Say, I was all, what Grinch would do that? It's something the bartender and mother saved up to purchase as a treat for her family. When you live paycheck to paycheck, you save for those kind of things. You save for Christmas. You have to save up to even be able to get your kids anything. So people coming and taking stuff is pretty disheartening. Her neighbor's holiday projector is also gone. She's afraid the Grinch will hit other homes as well. Who knows? Maybe they're trying to make national lampoons on their house. Portland police say it's a tough crime to prevent. Their best advice is to secure decorations the best you can. Home surveillance cameras can also be a deterrent. Others online suggest sensor lights, security signs, and turning your decorations off when you go to bed so they're less visible to a thief. I can't replace it either. It's not this time of year. Maybe in a few months when I can save up the money to do it again. Still, she says she won't let the thief take her holiday spirit. We'll just have to explain to the three-year-old, you know, sometimes the Grinch does really come. And neighbors say they'll be keeping a close eye on each other's decorations tonight. Reporting live in North Portland, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News.